Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this video, I'm going to open up another dollar bead box and bag. And in case you're new to this, the dollar bead box and bag are monthly bead subscriptions that you can subscribe to online. And they also offer sometimes some other, like, deals and stuff. And they also have an online store, which I have gone and bought from the online store. And it is awesome because you can buy everything for a dollar. But in order to do that, you have to be a member. So I recommend that you go to their website. I will leave a link for the website down there in the description bar below this video. So you can go check them out and um, read all the information about their monthly subscriptions. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I made a playlist for you guys because every time I get a box I make a tutorial or two depending on what I can come up with and if I have enough time to do it. And um, I have the dollar bead box playlist and in the playlist I have where I've opened up the boxes and I also have the videos there that I've made, the tutorials, with the stuff that I get in the box. So for this video let's open up the box and see what's inside. So as you guys can see, the dollar bead box has now changed their box. It is smaller. It's more narrow. I would actually say it's kind of like a pencil box size. I'm going to open the bag first like I always do. And remember, the dollar bead bag and the dollar bead box are two separate subscriptions. Oh boy. There's always something pretty in here. Look at this one. It's a deep dark purple. Alright. First we'll do the three. Just like we always do. These are three. And these are four millimeter. Matte purple velvet AB. That's this one here. These are gorgeous. And I'm happy I got two strands. One's three millimeter and one is four. Those are really pretty. I love these so much. Okay, so that's one. And then green opal vitro, which is this one here. Again, they are very pretty. Love those colors. And the Siam is next. Siam is a very bright red. I would say that um, this one here you can see is darker. That's a red color. The cyan is like a orangey red, I would describe it. That's what it looks like. And then there is opaque white Bermuda blue. Oh, wow. Very fancy. It's like a bunch of new finishes coming out. I've noticed with the colors that they've been having. Okay. Four millimeter strands are next, and the top one is the uh, purple matte velvet AB. So so pretty. I love this strand. It's so gorgeous. I would buy these in a heartbeat. And here is the smaller strand. They're so pretty. And then matte high highest thin. Let's see. There is the light garnet, and then the Okay, so that's this one. It's basically a matte orange color. Very pretty strand also. And then the light garnet. They're calling this light. This looks dark. Well, now that I think about it, I do have, in the past, I've gotten some garnet colored check fire polish beads from the dollar bead box and they were dark they almost looked black those are really beautiful too and then there is the matte light aqua this is also a very nice strand okay so this was the dollar bead bag and now we're going to do the box Okay, let's see what they got inside. Oh my gosh. I 
Okay. I can't get distracted. I always get distracted by something that I really like. It's almost like I should open the box blindfolded. Okay, let's start with the strands. I'm looking for a 6mm Czech glass Lucerna bicone. This one. Two-tone aqua peridot. 25. So I did a Lucerna bicone ring not too long ago with these bicones. I noticed that we've been getting these a lot in the dollar bead box, so I thought I should just do um, a project using mostly them and seed beads, and that's what I did. So if you go into my Beautiful Nights channel and click on videos and scroll down, you'll see the Lucerna bicone uh, beaded ring tutorial. But this is a um, two-tone color is what it's saying, aqua peridot. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I could see it. I don't know if my camera's showing it, but it's green and aqua in one bead. Those are pretty. Okay, so I'll put that over there to the side. And then I'm looking for 6mm Czech Glass Druck Medium Topaz. These are drugs. 30. These are beautiful. I don't have any brown truck beads, so these are really nice to have. And Czech trucks are the best round bead that you can buy. They are always perfectly round. Look at that. They don't have sharp holes. They won't cut your thread. They're amazing quality. I love trucks. And then I'm looking for a 6 by 8 millimeter Czech glass corrugated Rondell, this one. Olive Rainbow Iris, 32. So, last dollar bead box I did. Hold on a second, I'll get it. So, in my last dollar bead box, I got these corrugated rondelles. They're really cool looking. These are smaller than these here, but I used these rondelles in this multi-wrap lariat that I did. Um, there's several different ways to wear this lariat. It can also be worn as a bracelet, and um, those beads were just so cool. I just wanted to show you these ones here are bigger than last month's, but I really like these. These are gorgeous, and Peridot is my birthstone, so I love those. Those are stunning. And you can find the tutorial for that lariat on my channel. Alright, so the next thing is 4 by 7 millimeter vintage German glass rice bead. This one. Multicolor, yep, 25 pieces. That's this one here. These are stunning. I have not seen a Czech rice bead, by the way. I've seen rice beads in um, plastic beads like this, but never a check. Those are pretty cool. I like those. I love the colors. And then after that, I'm looking for 8 by 10 millimeter check glass tulip. This. Yellow light aqua or army green turquoise. Yellow light aqua. I wonder what that one looked like. So mine is the army green turquoise, and turquoise is like my favorite color. These are gorgeous. Man, look at the patterns on those. This is a beautiful strand. There's a lot of beads on here. There's 25 beads on here. And again, I always see stuff in the box and I think, Dang, I can go back to the dollar bead box and buy this strand for one dollar. That's kind of crazy. I don't know anywhere else where you can go and get this strand for one dollar. Those are pretty. I like those a lot. And the next thing is a 3 by 7 millimeter Czech glass dagger. Tanzanite. Ooh, I love tanzanite. Silver travertine or transparent travertine. So mine is transparent travertine, but there's also a transparent silver travertine. A tanzanite silver travertine. So there's two different ones. So I got the transparent travertine. They're very pretty. And I have made an amazing ring, flower ring, with these beads in the past. If you want, you can go back, uh, go to my YouTube channel, 
beautiful nights go to my playlist go to my flower play my ring playlist and you'll find the f the flower ring in there I, I think I actually made it with a color that's very similar to this it was a purple looking color but yeah these are the same daggers that I use in that ring okay those are the strands and now moving on to the additional items I'm looking for Sarasky 4 millimeter Exilian Rose 2028 SL or SS16 crystal metallic blue foiled 14 I think that's these here wait that's Sarasky too okay but this says 14 so it's this one so these are like um I don't think they're hot fix doesn't say hot fix I don't know but you know what I've done with these? I have some Montes that have like plastic Montes in them instead of crystal or glass. And I just open the prongs and I've put in the Swarovski crystal ones in place of them. I've actually done that. So I will probably do that with these here and replace them with the plastic Montes I have. Those are pretty color. Okay. And then I'm looking for 12 millimeter pewter future toggle. What? Where's the toggle? This? Antique copper plated one set. This is pretty. It's a small toggle. And then I actually thought that was a toggle. And then uh, 10 through 12 millimeter handmade Chinese lamp work. Color varies two pieces. These here. These are very pretty. I gotta take these out. These would look nice in a ring. I think, I don't re know for sure, but uh, I'm trying to remember the size bead I used for my spiral galaxy ring. These might work in that. And I also have the fairy tale ring. These might work in that ring. If you go back and look through my ring tutorials you'll see these are really pretty I think I like the yellow one more I guess because there's pink and blue flowers in it well this one has pink and blue flowers too this one is a little bit smaller those are pretty okay moving forward 13 by 22 millimeter check glass bow tie bow tie this hot ice one piece oh my gosh this is the new finish I've been seeing it I have not bought anything in it yet it's really unusual looking see the glass how it's not smooth it's like bubbly I wonder how they're doing that maybe it's a coating they're putting on it it actually feels like my walls in my house I don't have flat walls. I have like texture in my walls and it kind of feels like this. That's a pretty cool looking bead. Okay, and then the next thing is 6 by 7 millimeter check glass barrel. These green red multicolor three pieces. These are cool looking. I'm not sure if I have this bead shape or not. Oh, you know what? I I got this shape before from the dollar bead box. I made a ring with them, and I think I did three in the ring. Did I call it barrel bead ring or something? I, I put three of them together like this. Some of you may remember the video. If you go into my ring playlist, you will probably see it. It's a newer ring tutorial. But I had three of them like this, side by side stacked. I think I would flip the middle one over, maybe. Like that, in the ring. Those are cool. Yeah, I think I've done a ring with them. I wonder if they're the same size as the one, as the ones I used in that video. The ones that I had before in the video had multiple colors in them. They were really pretty. They kind of looked like agate. 
What size were these again? Six by seven millimeter. Hmm. I don't remember if they're the same size or not. Okay, the next thing is head pins. Uh, 0 0.7 by 30 millimeter head pins. Anti copper 100. These are always nice to have. This is always something that we run out of. I want to see what this pendant is. Is this up next? Did I skip over this? Let's see. 6 by 16 millimeter brass cord ends. That's these here. Silver plated. Those are wide. I think I could use those on leather. I could actually take and um, I have a whole bunch of leather lace or suede lace. I could probably put like five or six of them, glue them together, and then clamp them down in this and then I would have a multi-strand bracelet. That's another way I could use those. And the last thing on the list is Pewter Celtic Cross which I have two things left so I don't know if I skipped over something in the excitement yes I did I see some right there sometimes I get so excited I skip over something oh wow this is double sided that's so cool and you know what the hole in mine is clogged all I have to do is take my uh, bead all and push that through and it'll pop right out no big deal that's really cool it's double sided this would look great with lava beads Okay, so I see that I skipped over this right here and all the excitement. These are 10 through 12 millimeter check glass pillow crystal 3. We've gotten these before in the dollar bead box and some neat looking colors. I've gotten orange and I think I got a crystal pink one. That was really cool. They're really unique looking beads. And then I skipped over this here. This is a cube? What? It's called a graphic cube. Yeah, I think I skipped over these in all the excitement. Whoa, this is the weirdest looking bead. Oh, okay. I see. So the hole goes right here. It's like going at an angle through the bead but it is kind of a cube shape that's neat all right so this is it there's always fun things in here I really like how they put the colors together I feel like it makes it so much easier for me to come up with a project when the colors look well together I love these two together those are pretty and the green looks pretty with that too. I like those. And of course these go together and maybe even those there. And this might go with these. It's fun. I might do something with the flowers. I don't know. I'll see. And here are the beads from the dollar bead bag. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and don't forget to click the bell button so you get notified when i upload new videos and like me on facebook and don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry you've made from my videos on my facebook page and follow me on pinterest thanks for watching